Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott and we're back today on FTB's Ocean Block. And today we're going to expand on Applied Energistics and we're going to get into auto crafting and we're going to uh, set up these, uh, these inscribers behind us here. But before we get to that, I've got a huge build to show off to you. Right where we're standing right now, but it's outside. So let's get started and check this out. Welcome back. So let's uh, before we look at the what we built, I want to I want to talk about a couple things first, and we have had a lot of comments and everything, and questions about stuff. Um, but first, we'll kind of look over there. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. You guys just saw the time lapse of that, and that is probably why we haven't had a video out all week long because all my free time was built putting that together. But we'll go take a look at that here in a second. But I want to bring something. I, I want to 
I can go back to the comments. Uh, and a lot of people have asked, like, I can't get these two crushers to, like, put any, any uh, gravel into these two drawers here until it's full. Yes. Um, it, you could probably use a pipe, and I think that's what a couple people have said. They've just piped it out and then round-robined it and everything else. Uh, but with my play style, the way that I play, I, I come in here and I set this up, and then I build something, right? Case in point all of this that we do and I let this run during the time that I play and basically to turn it on you know when when I come in for my game session you know I double check to make sure everything's filled there I make sure everything's filled here and across the board right and then I just turn it on oh, and just like this I actually have to come up here and so I just turn them all on and then I go and I build and, and I do whatever and then when they run out and usually this one here this drawer here with the gravel runs out first I just turn it off and let them refill back again and you know while I'm not on the server they refill so the next time I get on I can let them run and I do that because I'm on a server playing because there's no I don't really have any overfill so like if something were to like fill all these drawers up and then all those items sit out here and they don't get cleaned up then it would uh, I could log in server problems and whatnot I don't really want that uh, so that's kind of the way that I run my system here. And, and I even do that with a lot of things. I like have them refill themselves before I actually turn them on. So just one of them, my kind of game style that I play. So, but let's talk about this thing. Let's talk about this. And so we've kind of come in here and we've cleaned all this up. And I told you all we would do something about up here. And so we've still got a landscape and put all the the fun stuff out in here and we'll do that at some point in time but check this building out <laughs> look how beautiful it is so yeah it's uh it's gonna be our factory and i've been waiting and waiting and wanting to get this built uh because this is where we're gonna start processing all of our stuff and and getting to the end state of all of these guys all the singularities so we're gonna have to probably make some more buildings but this one should be Plenty big enough for the time being so that we can actually kind of uh, get some of those started. So, yeah, uh, it is huge inside. We got three floors with it, and yeah, huge, huge building. So, lots of room in here to, to be able to do a lot of things. Um, really, just a lot of brick, marble, uh, and just, uh, and yeah, you get to see it from the time lapse. Love doing that and having a great time with it. But upstairs here, I've got elevators, these elevators in the elevator mod, and check this out. So our MA drive, this is going to be in the MA drive room here. And then today, what I really want to get working on is inscribers and automating inscribers and starting our auto crafting piece of this. And so let's start by, I want to set up our inscribers here. So where these three co or five cobblestone blocks are, I want to set my inscribers up on top of those because I think that this will be a good spot to do that. And once we get this piece set in, then I think we're going to have, I think we'll be set. Because these, doing the inscribers have been kind of a pain in the butt, if you know what I mean. And so, yeah, I've, it's it's definitely been one of those things where you're like, man, I just wish it would go a little bit faster. And so I got an interface here, and then really we're going to kind of connect this in here this way. So we'll come up off here up and around and at some point in time we'll make this all look pretty but really a lot of it's just function right now at this point in time because that's what i really need i need to do i need i need the function of being able to uh, uh of getting stuff done in a fairly quick manner because that's that's where we're running into problems with so we're just going to lay these guys out and this this uh demi glass cable here just going to run them in the power and then we're going to use xnet on the outside of it and so I've got uh, got a new 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 kind of item block here. This advanced green controller. If you look at that, it just takes a green controller and then uh, you know ender pearl diamond and, and redstone dust. But I want to use those in the middle here, where I'm kind of close to these, because I think what that's going to allow me the ability to do is to connect both these up in here at the same time. So yeah, um, and then the rest of them are going to come around, and everybody's probably seen how we and we do a lot of this you know when it comes to the doing xnet if not i'm really i'm not the, i'm not very good at it i just started using it and kind of really enjoying it and this one comes down here 
and there. And then underneath here, we're going to run all these network tables underneath. So we'll go, uh, I need to do two more here. Got one that's going to go here, and that one's there. Yeah. Okay, I think we are good there. And then underneath here, on the other side, I'm going to put our XNet controller right here. Boom. Like that. And then sneak into the back side here, add that controller there, and then bring up from that up here. There. And it'll come out to there. And there. And now I should be able to come out. Go to that. And, and then here. And then we'll get it all set up here. It's pretty simple. There. Perfect. Okay. And oh, we need one going up top. So right there. Sweet. Okay, now on the back side here, we're going to need power for our system, so we're going to power to there, and then, and no power yet, because i got to tell this, oh, put on that side, yeah, oh, because we haven't turned it on yet, and we haven't told it yet, so we'll get that all worked out, uh, but yeah, I'm going to work this out, and we're going to turn it on, this is set now, um, didn't need the fiber pipes, uh, these uh, flux, the glass cables on the back, because I can pump power to each one of the inscribers through XNet. Super simple, easy, awesome. Even better thing, uh, you can create some facade blocks here. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Facade blocks, right? And uh, pretty simple then. I just take these guys, and I can clean this entire thing up right here like this. Check this out. Look at that. Yeah. So I will, uh, I will definitely be doing this around and then clean this entire thing up. But I thought that was pretty cool that uh, we can use something like that. And, and then it just looks, just cleans the whole thing up. So pretty excited about that. Uh, yeah. Oops. Uh, oop. There we go. And there we are. All right, cool. So yeah, uh, but the way that that looks here is I've got a couple channels. Uh, power number one. Two is coming from coming from the storage crate to the subscri the inscribers. Uh, three is coming from the inscribers to the uh, uh, to the circuits here for this one. It sets this, and then finally the last one pulls from here and puts them all back into the barrel here. And then I got an ME interface on here, and that thing entirely works. Uh, so now that that's done, the next thing we've got to work on is actually to set up the auto crafting portion of it so that it can actually do it. So at uh, applied energistics, and now it's going to be time to do some quests because honestly, we should we should get all these quests here, and I think we'll just do a quick quest reward thing just like that. And globe trotters, uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, ban. Herculean flux storage, that's a win there. Another ender tank, maybe it's a couple. Ender, slimy, yep, so we close all those. And look at all that beautiful stuff that we just got. So this Herculean tank is, is this is awesome, just boom. And uh, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we mess with this here at the end of the episode, so stay tuned, we'll, we'll mess with that. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and throw in here, that's a good thing. That battery, probably not gonna use much power in an ender tank. Just some good stuff, you know? Yeah. All right, uh, that's all. We get so much stuff. Uh, I don't even know what to do half of it. So, uh, but, but back to uh, this other thing here, and that would be that we need to start creating the molecular assembler into a crafting unit, and then getting some of the crafting storage set up too. And we're also gonna want a ME interface terminal here. So I wanna start with this first. So we're gonna need an engineering processor. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to do. Let's see here, let's go back there. Boom, and oh, you're not gonna let me do it through there. Okay, fair enough. That, all right, cool. Uh, but we will can come to here and go, we are looking for this one and boom. And ME interface, inner terminal, blah, 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 whatever we call it here. Uh, because what that'll do is when we set that, uh, it'll allow us to put in for that barrel uh, our recipes. Okay. And then 
uh, molecular assembler here. And a molecular assembler is right here. And I don't know if we'll be able to do this yet. It looks like we're missing a crafting table. Okay. So we got some wood in here. Let's uh, let's sort this by not by mod, but uh, a number of items, and we'll toggle it the other way. There we are. So okay, one of those, one crafting table, and then that should make us a molecular assembler here. Okay, and then we're gonna need that with an interface here, and then we're gonna probably want to pull that off some other way. Uh, because if you look at it here, I'm going to have to go get quickly into uh, the dense cables and whatnot. Because if it's all coming to this one area here, which uh, it's very, very quickly going to run out of, of, of stuff. So that can go into there, and then we can set the molecular assembler on top of that. And so now that works, and we can it's got the ability to craft. Um, but I think what we also need to do is a crafting unit. But before we do the crafting unit... We're going to need to build out a uh, ME pattern terminal here. And I cannot do that yet. So let's see if we can build uh, annihilation core. Okay, one annihilation core. And let's see here. Okay, so there's an ME terminal. I think we're going to have to probably do another crafting table. I thought I saw that on there. Okay. ME crafting. Perfect. See, I'm loving it now that we have the ability to do this. All right, so now we have the crafting terminal, and that can see it just something like this. And I'm going to clean all this up here in a second, uh, but I really want to kind of get it set up so we know it's working. Okay. All right, so with that done, now it's going to be time to look at the crafting unit. So the crafting unit here, uh, let's see how we look at it. Oh, baby, look at that. That was nice and easy. Okay, how about a 1K storage? 1K storage. 1K storage, okay. And we do this and this, and now we've got that. That's perfect. Okay, so we still need another one of these. Okay, and next gen. All right, now can I take this, set this right here? Oh. I can't. I got. I got to do it. That's just. Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh. Did it go down there? Did I place it down here? I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> that elevator caught me, but I don't know where it went. Uh. Uh. There it is. Okay, it's in my inventory still. Awesome. Stupid thing. <laughs> okay, device online and crafting statuses and every cool other thing under the sun. But we need to build, to do all of this, we need some, uh, where were they at here? Some templates, some encoded patterns, right? And let's see if I can build an encoded pattern here. Encoded pattern. How about a pattern? Pattern. There we go. I encoded one. Sorry. I need the blank one. I don't know what I was thinking here. Uh, we're out of iron. Okay. Now we got to make a run for it at night here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is this is really gonna have this thing set up really nicely here. Uh, once we get this moving, and I'm excited because then we can start to like get everything. And I'm leaving a lot of stuff underneath here because we just. I like, I like working out of the workshop down there. You know, it's pretty cool. And I want to kind of get that same feeling up here um, where we're currently working at now. So you got kind of everything in there. And you just kind of got the ability to work it, right? One, two. Oh, we're out of this. What's the quartz glass? Quartz glass. Okay. Cool. And how about some more? Okay. And two. All right. Cool. So now I just put it in here. And quartz glass, for instance, right? Uh, let's see here. I want to make quartz glass. And what was that? Here, 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 here. Right? Something like that, right? And I got quartz dust. Oh, come here, guy. Yeah, see? Now, boom. And then I can place this in here. 
And now I have the ability, if we uh, glass, so I got the ability to, to, should be able to do like two, three, four, next, start. And uh, we're missing something here, are we? No, we're not. Course class, done, right? So even better things, right? We're gonna want some of these blank patterns here. So I wanna make some of those uh, clear. Item substitution. Yeah, uh, come on. Okay, so processing. Uh, not, yeah, we're gonna want this. Uh, but when we want to do, say for instance, I wanna do one of these. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what am I doing here? Uh, calculation press, right? One calculation press. So I want a pure service quartz. I'm going to want to shoot over some silicone. And I'm going to want to send over some redstone. Okay. And I'm going to go boom. All right. There we are. And now I can take that and put that up into here. That should then... Let's see here where's all our all right let's see if this will work i just want one one start go next start okay and then we should see this start to work there it is it's getting power it's coming over here it's getting put together and away it goes back into there yeah and then we'll probably have to find a way to just bring it back in the system but that's pretty cool, right? I, I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, yeah, that, I'll have to fix that. Um, it's not doing 100% what I want it to do, but uh, I think this thing's not really working 100% like I want it to. Uh, I think when you, there. Okay, device online, device online, okay. So I think that's working. We'll figure it out here soon enough. But that's pretty much it. Um, let's before we go, we got to do it. I want to take this over here and want to set this up close to our uh, uh, over to our power generation place, right? Yeah. Um, and and then I want to turn this thing on because we've really not ever like tested out the power generation system. It's just a little dinky thing here. Just kind of kind of I don't really have anything crazy with it. But, I want to put it down here, and I want to say, select the network, and God's network. And 8 million RF, just like that. I, it just boggles my mind how quickly this thing fills up. Oh, that's awesome. That is stinking awesome. So, I'll throw that upstairs here somewhere. i got to figure a way somewhere to pull power out of it and everything. Uh, because here's, here's the basic one, and here's the Herculean one. One million, eight million. Yep. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, but that I would say is basic auto crafting uh, that we've got here. Um, and now that we're getting done for the day, right? Then I come back over here and I take a look and I see that I got four stacks left on this one to do. I've got, a, you know, 18 more stacks in here. And I just let it run. And I mean, like we've gone up to 19 diamonds. So that's that's kind of how I get all my materials. I just sit over here and while I work, I let it run. And when I'm done, I turn it off, let it reach in, and then I keep going. And it works for me. And now I can't say that it's uh, one of like the most efficient things, but but again, it, it works for kind of my play style, especially when I spend you know way too much time building something like this, and something like this, <laughs> and everything else. But yeah, no, I'm super jacked about the way things are turning out. You know, we can load some boats up here, and uh, yeah, we got some ideas for out here. Um, definitely going to be cool. So stay tuned. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. But that is that is it for the day. Uh, auto crafting is set. We got it. Needs a lot of tweaking, but the basic premises is there. So with that, thank you. My name's C Scott, and we'll catch you all again very, very soon. <laughs>